Hi, Peter Borker here and welcome to today's edition of The Transition Guide, where I'm going to be looking at why industrial age marketing doesn't work in a digital age. So let me ask you a question. When you want to find some information, when you want to find a product or a service, what's the first thing you do? I guarantee you 99.9% .9 of all people in a Western country that has access to broadband and a digital device will either go straight onto a phone, a tablet or a desktop PC to do their research. Yet what totally astounds me is when I go out there and I see most business owners, they have a very bad, if non-existent, digital strategy, i.e. Well, what is your digital strategy? I have a website. And that's about it. But the reality is, that shit doesn't work anymore. You see, just to say, well, I've got a website, it's about as much used as a chocolate fire guard. So you take companies like Selfridges and Harrods, and bear this in mind, that as businesses, most businesses do not have a storefront. So when you take commercial retail premises like a Selfridges or a Harrods, what is their biggest marketing space? It's their shop window. How often do they change their shop window? Frequently. How often do they update displays? All the time. So my question to you is, if your only digital strategy is your website, when was the last time you updated your website? How frequently do you post content? In all fairness, how relevant is your content? Do you use video? Do you use blogs? Do you use articles? How do you rank in your search engine optimization? How do you rank in Google? How do you rank in YouTube? You probably don't even have a clue. In fact, how often do you look at your website stats? Now, if you are not looking at your website stats weekly, your digital strategy sucks because you're not doing what you need to do. So, hands up. Those of you that do weekly sort of statistical analysis, well done. Those of you that do not, well, you need to do something differently. And the reality is, are most people happy with the leads they get coming in? Probably not. In fact, so many people bitch and moan about the fact, well, I haven't got enough leads coming in. And my question is, well, are you using the strategies to actually bring business in? Are you using your website to get yourself known? Probably not. Why not? Because you probably do not know what you need to do. This goes back to you need to now learn how to become current. Now a lot of business owners don't believe that they need to have a business strategy around sort of digital. They believe that, you know what, I don't need to have that. The reality is this though. As we get older, and a lot of the industrial age business owners are getting older, and to give you an idea what older means, 40 plus, the reality is the target audience of people that are going to be buying from us are going to be a lot younger. And you've got to ask yourself, well, where do these people go? Well, these people were born online. Yeah, they, they know Google like the back of their hand. They use YouTube like the back of their hand. They're on Facebook. They're on Instagram. In fact, as a business owner, how many channels can you currently be found on? Now, if it's only one, well, then you're snookered. Because really, you need to be on all the platforms that people are looking at. And it's no longer just about your business. People are not just interested about you and your business. They're interested about the people within the business. And you'd be surprised how much due diligence people do before they shop. They will go into your website, they'll see who your key people are. They'll then go and try and find you on Facebook. They'll try and find you on LinkedIn. They'll search you out on Google. Now, if you put your name and your company's name into Google, how easily are you found? That is going to be your litmus test to become how visible are you in the marketplace. Now, for me, I don't particularly love digital. However, in order for me to grow my business, what needs to happen? I need to be on channels. I need to be highly searchable. Now, if I look at my strategies, I have a web page. I have a YouTube channel. I have a Facebook page. I have a Facebook business page. I have an Instagram account. I have a LinkedIn account. I'm on Apple Podcasts. I'm on other people's podcasts. I'm on other people's websites. I'm on other people's videos. I'm using a minimum of 10 different channels to get myself known. 
are you? Now, there are so many channels you can choose from. It's ridiculous, I know. But what you've got to do as business owners, you've got to actually start to test and measure and see what works for you. Because there are going to be certain channels that are going to be stronger than others. I know for me, Facebook's a nice to do, and I've got a Facebook presence. However, LinkedIn is my channel. If I look at where I get the majority of my inquiries, it's always going to be LinkedIn. Therefore, guess where I start to focus most of my efforts is going to be on LinkedIn. You, what you don't want is to have a, an account, a channel, for the sake of having a channel. There's nothing worse than having a channel where you've got stupid KPIs. Now, what's a stupid KPI? A stupid KPI can be something like, well, on Facebook, oh, my number of likes went up by 15 last week. Fucking hallelujah. Your likes may go up by 15, but where most people get it wrong is actually what is your social interaction, i.e., are you talking to the people on your channels? Are you building relationships up with the people on your channels? Are you getting to know the people on your channels? Because that's what sales is all about. That's what business is all about. It's actually building those meaningful relationships with people, building trust with the audience, so that when they are ready to buy, you are the person of choice. You are the company of choice. So there's a lot to cover here. Now, I know a lot of people do not feel comfortable with all this stuff and probably don't know where to start. So if you have a digital presence or you want to have a digital presence but don't quite know what to do next, get a strategy in place. If you need help building that strategy, head over to Balka.com and get in touch and let's have a conversation about what is your digital strength like in the marketplace. The reality is a lot of this stuff you just don't know how to do and you're actually going to have to go and learn some new skills. And avoiding this isn't going to help you, isn't going to get you the results you want. So remember, failing to learn is learning to fail.